What have I gotten myself into? Well, let me tell you what I've gotten myself into. My name is Victoria Rose, and this last year, I've been being a nomad around the world. I recently bought, converted, and traveled the whole USA in my 1998 Jeep Cherokee Yuki. I don't have a base. I like to live life as an adventure, and I'm looking for people like me who appreciate the road less traveled. Welcome to my channel. We've done some things since we last left off in Portugal. Firstly, I left Portugal, I got a tattoo. Portugal was amazing. I get a tattoo in every country that I go to. I got a little tattoo there. But we're back in England now for a whole new adventure. And this one is daunting, more daunting than any adventure that I have undertook thus far. I partnered with a friend here in England and we went half in on a Jeep Cherokee, a 90s Jeep Cherokee. The thing is, is we were just casually looking. We were just looking, you know, just browsing about because we both really like Jeeps. I wanted to do a more badass conversion, Jeep conversion. And I'm here and it would be an amazing opportunity to off-road and overland all of the UK and Europe. But first we have to make this 1997 Jeep into an overlanding vehicle. Before any of that, we had to first get the vehicle, which was all the way in York, England. I'm in way southern England right now, and it was like a four or five hour train ride. Tested the Jeep out, had some clunky sounds, but the seller just was like, oh, it's nothing and whatever, so. It's a great Jeep. It had the modifications that I really wanted, like the tire in the back, the front ARB bumper and everything, and just so much potential. It's already lifted, had great tires. So we're like, we'll take it. Just got another Jeep, Cherokee. Casually. So then we did. Drove it five hours all the way back down to Southern England. soon realized that it was very clunky and it started getting a little clunkier <laughs> so it needs new control arms Yuki my other Jeep needed that too uh, I never replaced them but it also needs a new wheel bearing okay oh. um, I'm going to drive on the road for the first time in this Jeep I'll just get real close up to the wheel like usual to adjust the mirrors. All right, here we go. I'm going to uh, do a practice and then I'm gonna update you guys on how this goes. I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm gonna film while I'm driving. This is terrifying. That was the first time me driving on the road. Getting used to driving this thing is interesting. Uh, there's a lot. There's a lot going on with this thing. There's a lot that needs repairs. Um, of little minor repairs that the trunk bangs around, so the the little rubber bits need to be replaced on that. And we also readjusted the exhaust. So it's just things we're kind of learning about. Like after getting it and driving it around, it gets pretty rickety. <laughs> we're gonna have a full service and everything, but for now we're just gonna replace what we can.
Hopefully this will they'll stop the noise. So we'll place this in this one. Seems pretty solid. <laughs> we placed this right here because this was clanging whenever it started up as well. There's a lot of um, sounds coming from this. We want to get it all set up to where we can safely feel like we can drive it long distances. We're waiting for parts from America. Unfortunately, you can't get parts here very easily for, well, for the control arms anyways. So we're waiting like two weeks for those to come into the mail. That's the one bad thing about being in England. I'm gonna give you a quick view before we do anything to the Jeep. And this is basically how we got it. Um, the wheel right here, the, one of the main selling points with this Jeep is that there is a wheel attachment in the back, um, but it's broken. So that needs to be fixed before we can use it. But it's one of those things that I really wanted for Yuki, where you can open it up and I don't have to mess with taking the wheel in and out. So that's gonna get fixed and they'll put that on the back. And then basically the inside is really in really good condition, but this is all gonna be converted Hopefully we'll get like a tent box on the top, but I want to give you a full little look around before we do anything. Look at this headliner though. It's so good. Look at that headliner, immaculate. You see these up here, we want to get rid of that, <laughs> that design, gotta go. So this is a toolkit we're going to be using to fix up some things. We also, we'll be going to a garage and stuff to get it serviced and all that type of stuff to see what it needs. I don't have my dad's help or garage. I have a friend helping me do all of this and going half in on the Jeep. This is the beginning of the new conversion and we have decided on a name. I've decided to call it Tenku and that's Japanese for tank because it looks like a tank and it is a boy. some repairs before we can take it on any types of adventures. We did kind of take it on a little overlanding adventure just to test it out because we're really impatient. So we're here at the Peace Haven Cliffs and we're not supposed to be here. We found this really tiny little trail I found on the satellites and I just wanted to park near the ocean here. Um, we scratched the whole side up. Let me show you. Our first off-roading experience. So while we're driving here, it makes a lot of clunks and a lot of noises. We should not be off-roading. This could have ended badly and it still can end badly, but Look at these views. And Tenku in its natural habitat. Let's um, give it a double scratch on the way back. Well, actually, that was a pipe pulled me in the eyeball. We are breaking her in and him in, in the worst way. Ooh. Oy. 
So the new challenge is to convert this Jeep into an overlanding, off-roading, badass vehicle. Apocalypse ready. The problem with this is we spent all the money on the actual vehicle and now we have to really budget this. And I'm also on a limited amount of time. And also, one of the hardest things is learning for me to drive on the opposite side of the road with the steering wheel on the opposite side of the vehicle. This is a challenge. I have been practicing, but it's really hard. Like, this is the most, this is the thing I'm the most intimidated about. I'm not doing it all alone, but my friend doesn't want to be on camera. And I want to keep this specifically on the Jeep and my journey with it, just like all my other content. So that's what you can expect. I wasn't planning on this. I actually wasn't, it just kind of happened. And now we're here with a 1997 limited Jeep Cherokee XJ to convert. Once we get momentum, things are just going to go, go, go. Because I have to, I have to do this quickly. We want to go through all Wales and Scotland. England isn't the best place to do an overlanding adventure. Really want a 10 box this time. But anyways, taking you guys all along with me. Comment below if you have any budget friendly ideas for this conversion. I still have Yuki back in the States. We'll, maybe we'll go back in the States and do some more with her. But for right now, we're still in this Jeep thing. I don't know how it's going to go. It could, it has potential to go very poorly. It's not planned out well just like everything else. It's life. We can do what we want. It's customizable. Anyway, it's stay extraterrestrial. I'll see you in the next video. Fingers crossed this goes well. It's got to. All right, bye.